everyone's Larry from WSTrades.com. I want to do a quick little video, uh, share a tip with you guys for the Thinkorswim platform. Uh, something that I keep on my charts at all times. And it's really simple, really easy to use. And it's this uh, PL label right here. And you can see we're on Tesla and the daily time frame. It says PL is $675. Uh, dollars and 56 cents and no that's not my position that i'm on right now that's actually looking at a strategy that i have built uh through back testing so that's you know a theoretical price had i gone long and short when i get my symbols or my signals uh for this certain strategy which you know i do use it's my main indicator um and it's these arrows right here just buy and sell arrows so I do use that uh, daily, but you know, like I said, this is just theoretical. This is going through back testing. If I would have taken every single symbol or signal, sorry. Um, and the way that you do that is, you know, if you know anything about running strategies and back testing, then the main thing that you know everyone uses is the floating PNL. And what floating PNL looks like, if you load that up, it's just a histogram on the bottom. And if you've watched any of my other videos on Thinkorswim, you know I don't like clutter on my chart. Like the least amount of stuff, the better. So I just wanted this label that I could quickly, you know, see if my certain strategy that I use is profitable on a certain time frame and uh, for certain tickers. So using this label, you'll be able to identify quickly if a certain strategy strategy that you use uh, would be profitable for a ticker because if you've been trading for you know any amount of time you know that just certain tickers don't work using certain strategies and some work really well like um, Tesla is one of the better performers for the indicator that I built I mean your first buy sell signal would have been around yeah you'd be up almost a hundred percent off of just one share if you bought and sold uh, for these uh, signals. So it uh, works really well with this. Um, there's a few that just, you know, it just doesn't work. And you can use, like I said, you can be using simple um, moving average crossovers and it'll work really well on certain tickers and some, it just doesn't work. Uh, certain time frames, it doesn't work well. Uh, but this will just tell you if, you know, your strategy is profitable on, you know, the time frame and the ticker. So like, let me go to the 15 minute yeah, so you'd be profitable on the 15 minute uh, time frame on Tesla. Let's go to the 30 minute. Yeah, 30 minute doesn't back test very well. You'd be down slightly. So, yeah, it's just a really quick way to see if your strategy uh, will or back test profitably. So, you know, anything could happen. But through back testing over, you know, this is a year's worth of data, uh, Tesla would trade well with my indicator. So, how you do that is you'll go over to the website, wstrades.com. I go to the downloads tab, thinkorswim indicators, go to the bottom of the PL label, and it shows you a picture of it, which you know you just saw in the video. You know, down this will be a video. Uh, this will be this video actually by the time it's uploaded, uh, so that anyone just on the website that sees it can you know run through it real quick. There's the download tab. This will open up a new page and take you to uh the TD Ameritrade page, you download uh, the label, upload it to your Thinkorswim platform, and go from there. And, uh, you know, the tip that I have for you guys is hiding the strategy. Because, you know, like I said, I don't like clutter on my, on my page or on my charts. I just like to keep things fairly simple. So how you can hide them, you know, if you do, actually, let me close out of this. And I'll apply this and now you can see there's no strategy um, on my chart. So it just says PL not available because there's nothing that it's back testing right now. So we'll go to any, let's go to Bollinger Band, Bollinger Band Divergence strategy. We'll apply. And you can see that the Bollinger Band Divergence uh, strategy built into Thinkorswim is not profitable on the daily time frame. Um, on Tesla. So, you know, it's a real quick way to see, you know, if this thing's profitable or not. And the tip that I have is to hide all of this, like so that you can keep the strategy built in, but you don't have to see, you know, these big words and, you know, it shows your short here and long here 
or actually just covered your short here uh, so that you don't have to see any of this. So the way you do that is you go over here and go to the cog of the strategy that you're using and you have to go through um, all of these orders. You click on the color arrow, go down here, go to HSV, slide transparency to 100. Do it again on this one. HSV, slide transparency to 100. Okay. And you have to do it on, you know, all of the orders. Uh, some are just buy and sell. Some are just, um, yeah, buy to open and sell the clothes. So you just have to run through all of them and, you know, drag the transparency to 100. <sighs> One more, see if this clears it, clears it up some. Sorry, I didn't know there's four different orders on this. Actually, I'm just going to disable this so it doesn't even show up. And then we can see that it should be cleaned up. Hit apply. And now you see that there's no, you know, arrows. There's no nothing. You will see these lines. Um, and you see the profit and loss because I took away, I think it was the short uh, entry. So um, actually, I took away the long entry. So uh, you will see these lines here that show the trade. And, you know, if it's red, that was a loss. If it's blue, it was a win. Um, I don't know how to take those off. So, you know, it's just something, but it's nothing really like those big labels and everything. So it's definitely less intrusive. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, you can check that out over at the website. Um, like I say, it's a really cool thing to just clear up your charts and know if this thing is going to be, if your strategy is going to be profitable uh, at a real quick glance. So just run through it, have fun with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And also, um, yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys think I should monetize my um, indicator that I built that backtests really well on Tesla. I don't even, you know, I call it the VFB, but, you know, I don't know if I'm going to sell the code itself. I'd like to kind of keep that away. I might sell buy and sell signals through, I don't know, uh, Patreon or Discord or something. But anyways, in the comments, if you guys have any ideas, let me know.